David Starr is back over in the UK again, regularly playing all around the Midlands. David, uh, great to have you back in the UK again. And your your interest on the Midlands music scene is building and building and building. People are loving your sound. Well, I'm uh, I'm happy to be back. I'm glad you got me a bigger room this time. <laughs> this is uh, this is nice. It's it's wonderful to be back. I've made some friends over here over the last three years, and I'm happy to be back. So, for those who haven't come across your music yet, tell us a, a bit about your sound. You know, I get asked a lot what what the genre is, and and you know, if you're in radio, you know that that that's sort of the the, the umbrella they put your music mm-hmm. under, and I, I guess it falls into the Americana uh, genre because I, I, you know, I grew up listening to Jackson Brown and the Eagles and Poco and all that Southern California stuff, the band. But I'm a big fan of the blues and Eric Clapton and you know all kinds of stuff, Joni Mitchell. So it's a kind of a mishmash of a lot of things. But it it, it often reminds people of the music of the early '70s. I guess I get told that a lot. But when it comes to that sound, I think that's it's, it's more timeless than anything else. I don't think I don't think it needs an era because there are certain songs that will live on forever, whether it be the Beatles, the Stones, sure. yeah, some great stuff from sure. the 70s. There's even some 80s classics, unfortunately, mm-hmm. which are still lurking around. Right. But uh, you know, it is about music you can believe in, and I think that's really your sound, isn't it? Well, I try to write uh, intelligent songs, songs that songs that tell a story and uh, present them in a way that that a lot of people can relate to you know when you go into a record a, a record you want to do it you know you don't want to be be trapped in that moment so much that if it's played five years from now it sounds dated mm-hmm. so we made particularly on this new cd we did we had that in mind when we did the recording yeah so tell us how long you spent in the studio on this one because i know it's a labor of love every time you start recording well oddly enough we didn't spend a lot of time uh, i was lucky enough to get work to work with uh, john oates as my producer from mm-hmm. from hall and oates and the way john works uh, we went in and, and spent all of one day and one evening working with the band and doing some overdubs and it was a band he chose in nashville spent the next day doing my vocals over again and getting those just right and then we spent another couple of days mixing, so it was a pretty quick process. But uh, the key was John likes to put good people in a room and let them do what they do best, and mm-hmm. he more or less left them alone except for some <laughs> subtle direction along the way. And obviously the music was already there and written, mm-hmm. and, uh, and how long had you been writing for this album then prior to hitting the studio? The songs came together, most of the songs for this record came together last, last year, um, but there yeah. were pieces and parts of them that are years old. You know, uh-huh. The way I write is to keep to keep notes and then collect things and then piece them together as time goes by. But some of that build up on the tour of the UK last year as well, were you writing every time you were um, sat in the hotel room? I'm always I'm always writing ideas down. Most of it I say writing, I'm putting them in my telephone, you know, everybody <laughs> uses that tool now. So if I go through my notes section on my phone, there are pages and pages and pages of ideas and when I get ready to write, I sort of get to a point where I feel a critical mass where I just want to start writing again. So I'm, I'm almost there again. I'm starting to feel like I need to write again so it, it's, it's sort of building up inside yeah. you is, is, it like, is it almost feel like a frustration when you're not writing it just feels like if I'm not doing it it's, it's just time to do it you know mm-hmm. it's like you're hungry you know it's time for a meal so. and, and tell us a bit about your life in the US because it, it isn't all just the the music on right. the road is it there's much more to it than that right I have a store in western Colorado in a very small town called Cedar Edge and the store is called Stars Guitars because well obviously but uh, <laughs> so it's a it's a fairly unique guitar store in a very small town but but uh um, as with camera gear, recording gear, any kind of gear, people will find it if they know where you are and mm-hmm. they'll seek it out. So we try to have an interesting mix of guitars and amps and effects and that sort of thing. So when I'm not on the road, I, I do that, you know. And that must be a, an interesting passion, but the chance probably for a few good jamming sessions in, in store as well. Well, it's always it always does my heart good when... Uh, you know, a group of kids will come in, maybe they're kids from a local church camp or whatever, and all of a sudden I hear in the next room, I hear a song, you know, one's banging on a, on a drum and two or three of them have guitars out, and they've just spontaneously started playing, and that's that reminds me of when I was a kid and grew up around music stores, and that's what it's about. So, yeah, I like that. It's community. <laughs> and encouraging the, yeah, the next generation as well, which yeah. is vitally important. It's always better when all of them walk out of there with a new guitar as well. <laughs> Fingers crossed too. Yes. And, and strings. Mm-hmm. And maybe a plectrum. So uh, there's lots of great ways of, uh, uh, of following your music these days due to the, uh, the magic of the internet and people can pick up on what's going on. Uh, so physical albums which you're selling as you're heading around the UK this time and right. no doubt we'll see you back in the UK Hope in so. 2018 as well. But uh, where do people go to to find out about all of what you're doing? Well, the, the best place to start is uh, davidstarmusic.com and from there there's an iTunes link, a CD Baby link obviously I'm on Spotify and Pandora and Tidal and all the streaming services mm-hmm. so uh, 
Uh, yeah, and, and if they go to starsguitars.com, and stars has two R's in it, that's very important, folks. Uh, if they go to starsguitars.com, they can order a physical copy of the CD, and I'd be happy to sign it and mail it over, and uh, we'll have to work out the postage on that. But, that could be interesting. Yeah, we'll have, have a go at that one. So the website again? Uh, davidstarmusic.com. So look at davidstarmusic.com, find out more about this man. And uh, we're going to have a song from you now. What are you going to perform live for us? Um, I'm in the dadgad tuning, for those of you watching at home that are guitarists, so I thought I'd do the title cut. It's called The Head and Heart. One, two, three, four. Love unexpected, love unrequited Feels like trouble and you try to fight it Like the hurricane wind, like the timeless tide You can't run, you can't hide When the head and heart cannot be reconciled when a grown-up love calls out to you Stirs your inner child The heart knows there's a price that must be paid The head knows that decisions must be made Have you tried everything you can? Said all that can be said Between a woman and a man just on gasoline On a blazing fire Built a fence made out of dreams And razor wire When the head and heart Cannot be reconciled When a grown of love Calls out to you Stirs your inner child The heart knows there's a price That must be paid the head knows that decisions must be made Well, it's a runaway train It's a wrecking ball It's a burning house And it's bound to fall Well, it's a mandolin rain And a hungry heart Where does the longing end And the true love start Hope springs eternal for the likes of you and me From a thousand miles away There's a candle I can see And like the hurricane wind Like the timeless tide We can't run, oh we can't hide When the head and heart cannot be reconciled when a groan of love calls out to you Stirs your inner child The heart knows there's a price that must be paid The head knows that decisions must be made The heart knows there's a price that must be paid The head knows that decisions must be made Thank you. 